everybody, welcome back to the episode of Lost. Today on a survival today, we return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys are having an absolutely fan freaking fantastic day of the most amazing Friday. Today, we have an absolutely ridiculous raid lined up for us that we are going to be heading out on right now. But before that, we do have some news about the Chinese New Year update. And boom, that is exactly what you guys and gals are seeing right here and right now. So earlier today, Cloud was asked, is anything else? Else could be coming in the Chinese New Year update, like perhaps an event or something else. But it appears that only the Chinese items within the shop are going to be coming. And uh, he didn't elaborate if they're only going to be able to be gotten through purchasing or if there's going to be another way to get them. But we do know that by the looks of it, these items are pretty much going to be most, if not all, of the Chinese New Year event, at least from what they have said right now. Maybe they need a little bit of clarification. Maybe there was some. I, I don't know because like that's actually pretty odd because they've repeated every single holiday event from the last year and now to just suddenly have it like not repeat and god dang it did this clock not save all right well that's fine we'll just use this we will we'll be gucci all right a little bit extra noise from that clock won't be the worst thing ever i literally modded this thing man but uh what should we call that's besides the point the point is is that we do know that this appears to be what we can expect out of the update and you might be like star this is awesome awful news how could this be happening how is this all that we could possibly be getting well honestly this is something that a lot of people have actually been asking for a lot of people and this has been a pretty popular opinion have wanted kafir to actually like stop focusing on these limited time temporary events that only stick around for like a week or two and then are pretty much gone for the next year and instead put their time towards developing more permanent stuff and by the looks of it kafir finally listened to us so i know that some of us and listen personally i love i like the events too but i do see the benefits of skipping out on them and personally i am looking forward to hopefully getting more more updates as a result of it because honestly within the past month we've gotten a couple of really good updates between the skill revamp the active skill mods update like we've gotten some pretty good updates in the grand scheme of things so it, it looks like instead of focusing on the chinese new year event they were able to focus on these other updates and already we've gotten a couple of pretty substantial ones within the past one month and obviously they're working on the big boys like the outpost update and the eventual atv slash swamp update out in the west and potential dark zones so at the very least it does appear that there is stuff going on so i'm i'm pretty happy with that let's go and get some c4 popping off down here as well because we're gonna be making our way towards the goods that this base has to offer let's go ahead and get to chopping in a little bit because there are some chests within this base that you guys are gonna be like wow and i'm gonna be like yeah that is amazing but god dang we gotta go and get that other c4 but i just want did just want to give you guys the scoop on what is going on with the chinese new year update and it does appear that it's pretty much just going to be a couple of items that you can cop for a dollar and this chopper skin over here that you could get which is dude honestly like i love this chopper skin i'm very happy that i got that sure it was three bucks and you guys can only purchase each of these once by the way so the entirety of it is 3.99 uh we did blow through a lot of this armor at least this time we left the pantalones intact though because we actually have some leftover armor from last year's event and a couple of extra guandao as well so you can purchase one of these each maybe more will be added to the shop too i don't know because like usually like if you buy everything like this would disappear like it wouldn't just say sold like this entire tab would disappear and not even be an option but i don't know we'll have to see how that unfolds but i uh, did want to give you guys the scoop on that and i want to hear you guys' thoughts around it like i i think this might be kind of controversial and i know that probably not everyone is going to be happy around it like there's definitely pros and cons to it like it does suck to not have the seasonal fun because it's always fun and oh mama we got the big boy coming after us leg shot Let's make sure he's not coming after us too quickly, but it's always fun to partake in some seasonal festivities, especially the Chinese New Year, which actually gave us permanent items. The only such event to do that in the form of the uh, Chinese New Year armor and Guandao but uh nonetheless hey like i'm saying it might be a blessing in disguise because then it's it's been a very kind of hot topic people have been like yo kafir like stop working on these events if they're just going to disappear and the items are going to be temporary and th they finally listened so like really 2019 so far i feel like has been the year of kafir listening and like i'm saying i know this might be controversial probably not everyone wanted this event to be gone but 
I mean, it it looks like they're open to changing their ways because like the skill update was huge for free to play players. Like that changed like pretty much everyone has a great chance of getting any of these skills, specifically the extra pocket, the god skill of them all. If you ask me, including all of these other ones, you get like a choice when you level up. Like, I don't know, that was just such an awesome update for the players. They've been listening to the players with this update and kind of listening to us with the whole like, you know, work on more permanent updates. So I don't know. I think it's a good thing, but I do think it is up to interpretation and obviously it might be a little bit uh it might be controversial like i'm saying if you don't agree with me hey that's all good i i don't blame you for not agreeing with me like if you like the events dude more power to you like i'd i'd be a little bit peeved too but i i it's it's a decision that could have went either way but still i i do like the fact that they appear to be open to listening because kafir has been pretty big and let's freaking go look at the loot right there and also yeah there's our next silenced gun so we'll actually be good we don't need to worry about that we already have a smorgasbord of goods to be bringing home oh this raid is only gonna get better from here on out as well but so like i'm saying let me know your guys's thoughts around this potentially controversial decision what you think of it how like i, I don't know i just really want to hear what you guys think of it and you know if you guys are hyped for hopefully the next update that we'll be getting instead and what might be coming along with that because dude if this means that we get the outpost update quicker i'm not gonna lie I'm a pretty happy camper in the grand scheme of things. Like I'm saying, that's just me. Let me know what you guys think in that comment section it's down below. And reminder that that comment is going to put you one third of the way into the week. It's why I do such place store gift card giveaway. All you got to do as well is make sure to like button and make sure to subscribe. That will let you in on today's video. Y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on Earth video. Oh, yes, sir. And I hope whoop, 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 whoop. so many bad guys running up on us. Totally got distracted in all of the loot that I was drowning in. Let's just go ahead and leg shot that guy. Ow. He hit us twice. That's not nice. But yeah, what was I saying? I completely lost my train of thought, guys. That was just these already first two chests that we broken into. They have been very kind to us. And the kindness will hopefully only continue from here on out. Like I'm saying, make sure to go ahead and leave a like on the video. Drop a comment down below and make sure you are subscribed. That will enter you in on today's video. Y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on Earth video. When Saturday rolls around, I like the loot that I'm seeing here. We'll pick a random video from the past week. Pick a random comment from that random video. And that will be the winner for the week. And we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same Saturday as well. So make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell. Hit to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest of last day on Earth information not to like such as like that which has come out today and now you guys know the whole shindig that's going on and i'm trying not to get stuck in here okay i've literally just gotten myself even more stuck but like the info that came out today regarding the chinese new year so now you guys know that at least by the looks of it don't be expecting one who knows maybe there'll be a surprise chinese new year coming but by the looks of it so far it, it does not appear that such a thing awaits us in our future and hold up i gotta run so we could equip our silence the gun because now that we do have a silenced gun, I'm not trying to use these unsilenced ones. And okay, I must have put that one away into the chopper. Run, 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 baby, run, run, baby, run. Okay, okay, okay. Whoop, 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 whoop. No leg shot on this one, but we will survive. Like I'm saying, that notification bell will keep you guys up to date with all the latest and greatest of Last Day on Earth information. Not just stuff like this, but also whenever any new info, sneak peeks, teasers, all that type of jazz come out. We are always breaking it down, letting you guys know exactly what is said. Maybe some hidden information within that information itself. Not to mention connecting the dots with information released in the past. Let's freaking go. I just smacked my computer out of pipe. That might have ended poorly if I smacked hard enough. I only nipped it right by the edge, so we're good. But uh, what you call? We're always staying in the loop with that, connecting the dots to give us the clearest look at these future updates, what they are to come, and so we know what to expect. And not just that, as soon as an update does come out, we are diving ahead first into those puppies and showcasing them off absolutely ASAP. And a hello, I like what I am seeing over here. But uh, we are showcasing those bad boys off absolutely ASAP. Everything that they have to offer, whether that be new locations, uh, whenever that outpost update comes out, oh baby, you know we're gonna be diving ahead first into that and showing off all the dopeness that that has to offer and definitely trying to like max out our outposts do all the craziest things that we can take out any new enemies go to any new locations go after any top loots and even you know show off if those loots are worth going after and in the case of this i don't mind dropping my own dollary dues if it means that i could showcase this stuff to you guys and then you guys can make an informed decision like hey is the chinese dragon pattern worth copying for example like i don't mind taking an l on the dollary dues and bringing a tear to my wallet if it means that it could help you guys be more informed and potentially avoid any bad purchases that you might be contemplating or in the clay 
play case of y'all free to play players or just kind of more on the free to play side you know if there's something that might be very expensive and hello to all of this SWAT armor this raid just keeps on getting better and better but if there's anything that might be uh, very expensive, for example, that might end up in you, you know, like, you know, trying to defeat a boss, for example. But turns out that that boss isn't really worth defeating in the first place. Well, I'm going to make sure that you guys know that. I'm going to show what that boss drops, for example, and, you know, what you might need to take it down so you guys are as prepared as possible before these updates as soon as they come out. And not just that, that notification bell will keep y'all in the loop with every single video. Y'all can enter it on for that weekly giveaway, not to mention all the other dope survival games going up on the channel as well. So make sure that that bad boy is hit and best of luck in the $25 as you such play store gift card giveaway. But right now... Best of luck to me in the rest of this raid because hi diddly ho, dear mama. This is the raid that keeps on giving. I'm actually, I have started to run low on the green tickets, so I will, I'll take these two full stacks of green tickets. Easy peasy, happily take these bad boys home with me. You guys saw the smorgasbord of this armor that is available. Let's just go ahead and line this up side by side so you guys can truly get a magnitude for uh, the insane amount of armor that is at our disposal. And uh, yeah, long story short, it is very insane. In case you didn't get that across from my words, let these images that I'm showcasing to y'all now just, oh my God. Like, I think there's what, seven total plus the one we already equipped. I think like seven total suits of SWAT armor. There's like even more pantalones, like three more pantalones, uh, two more booties, uh, three more of those, uh, three more helmets. Like there's like almost eight full sets of SWAT armor plus the one we stole for ourselves. This raid, if you guys manage to get this guy in your raiding shenanigans, I think you're going to walk out of it. Some of the happiest campers on this side of the freaking planet. I'm not, I don't want to break into that wall. I just want to continue breaking into these chests because the chests, oh, they continue giving. Thank this one right here. I love what I'm seeing. You know why? That's the M16 that they stole from us because this is a revenge raid that we were able to arrange and hot diddly ho, neighbor. I am so happy we were able to arrange it because we got pretty much most, I mean, that's a good portion of our stuff back. We got all of this new metal, these tickets, all of those guns. Uh, things are just looking pretty good now we can go ahead and break down one more chest before things get super crazy and what do you know that chest also has the goods now here's the thing i'm pretty sure that like this chest was supposed to have like some engine parts but i think that this m16 accidentally replaced the tile that should have had engine parts from the research that i did on this raid you might be like star you researched this raid how did you do such black magic guys the best tip that i could give you guys is whenever you guys find a raid that you want to raid automatically go to youtube go to that search bar and type in ldoe last day on earth whatever abbreviation you want to use type that into the search bar type in the name of the raid and oftentimes you'll be able to find a version of that raid that someone has performed and oftentimes they are going for the best of the goods and kind of like we are today because oh me oh my we have a lot of goods after today. I am an extremely happy camper. Like, all of this precious metal right here. Like, also all these pistols. We got this flare gun, this Winchester, a couple of these tickets. We might end up leaving some stuff behind. Because, like, we still got a couple of free slots. I might bring, like, one set of SWAT armor with me, too. Uh, I'll leave one of these hatchets with us. I'm actually going to put two of those away. Because now comes the maneuvering. When it comes to this. Now, I know you guys might be like, Star, you should, uh, whatchamacall, you should do the death glitch where if you die on a raid, you know, you could, like, whatchamacall, whatever is in your chopper will be transported safely back home. Well, here's the thing. I've heard of some people actually trying to do that glitch and the raid disappearing, so I'm gonna play it on the safe side just because we definitely have the best stuff of this raid in our inventory already i'm not trying to lose all of this plus some military backpack our full set of swat armor these two pistols we got on us like eh, i'm not trying to risk it so while that could be used to potentially bring home even more loot i'm just gonna play it on the safe side because i have heard of that backfiring on people and well when it comes to the type of loot we have within our backpack I'm not trying to put that too much at risk. Ja feel me, mon? Okay, I think I hope you ja feel me on that one because that's a very feelable one right there. 
We could go ahead and grab some more of these. Let's definitely grab one full set of the Svat armor. But yeah, if you were able to fully, or what you call, successfully manage to do that, like, I think they've changed some stuff where it might not be, like, I think if, like, no zombies are on the map or something, like, you might disappear. Whatever it is, I just don't want to risk it because I, I, I really like what we have right now and I don't want to lose all of this. That'd make me very salty. But if you guys do manage to do it, there's more than enough from this base to go ahead and pick from. So this is just a prime pickings type of base. But yeah, always, whenever you guys are about to raid, look up the base and oftentimes you can find something my videos might even pop up since i do often put the name of the raid within the tags they might not be in the title but if you like look it up through the search bar it should still pop up for example but all right i think we got everything that realistically is without a debate the best i know that there's those like three red tickets but eh, for once in my life i know you might be like what is this star i know I think I'm going to pass up on the red tickets for the first to actually not. Nah, goodbye, copper. <laughs> Rip. Ah, I don't want... Mm. That's like two copper bars right there, though. Yo, uh, YOLO, I don't know. I got plenty of copper back at home, whereas red tickets, I'm constantly blowing through, dude. I'm constantly on the struggle trying to bring that bad boy up to 30, so we have a crate to open. But with all of that in mind, let's pop open these last three. Maybe do a little bit of the blind one, or a big one glitch, and... Hopefully survive. Oh, I'm also gonna. We need a little bit of health here, by the way. Uh, I'll just use one of your med kits. It doesn't matter. I know you might be like, oh, 10 health for the first aid kit. What are you doing? Not my first aid kit. I'm not bringing that with us, anyways. Hey, YOLO. Let's see what chest number hello has for us. Okie dokie. Uh, I might come back for that. I hear you, big one. Hey, big boy. Okay, we're gonna break into a couple of these things over here. I'm gonna let him hit me like a couple more times here. Heal up. Nothing that great over there. Nothing that great over there. So, okie dokie. I got my plan of action. And whoop, 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 whoop. that could have ended up poorly. Oh, holy mama. All right, then let's go ahead and bring this bad boy around town. All the way to the opposite side. Op <laughs> my tongue is getting twisted. To the opposite side of this base where what we will do is... a uh, boop. We'll run out of bounds right there. We're going back. I'm grabbing that electronic circuit in exchange for the iron hatchet. We also have a military convoy we could probably run to after this. And eh, I mean, we might not get anything too great at the military convoy. Uh, worst case though, we'll go over there, see what loot there is. And there's like a 40 minute timer on it. So I could just like run back there after the video and grab it for myself. I am in a little bit of a time crunch. So today's video might be a little bit on the shorter side, guys. I do sincerely apologize, but uh, your boy has an essay due at midnight. It's currently 9.50 PM. Your boy has to get to writing that essay pretty badly, so cross your fingers. By the time you guys might see this video, that's why this video might be up past midnight my time, because I'm trying to get it done before disaster strikes. And I know that we could grab some med kits and stuff too, but I'm going to pass it. Let's Zoidberg our way out of here. See you later, big one. Thank you for the redonkulous raid that you were attempting to protect, but... I'm giving you two thumbs down for that attempted protection from the protection agency, from the Papa Star agency that likes to go out and raid stuff. I'm giving you two thumbs up. Honestly, three thumbs up. I don't even have three thumbs. I'm going to go freaking, I'm hopefully going to steal a thumb from this military convoy. It's usually a finger, but who knows? Maybe today we'll get a thumb. I don't even think a thumb exists in game, but we will speak it into existence. LeVar Ball style, baby. All right, though, what is this going to be? I think this is going to be the zombie type of event where there's a poop ton of zombies running up after us. And if that's the case, that's all good. We'll go ahead and mow these dudes down with a pistol drizzle. They never stood a chance, lads. What can I say? The odds were stacked against them in this one. Oy vey, look at you, Toxic Spitter. That guy was trying to dance a jig. He's trying to bribe me with those dance moves. Like, Star, let me live. Nah, that's gonna be a fat no from me. Do you see how smelly I am? Do I look like, does a smelly man like me look like he gives out mercy left and right? Nah, 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 nah. Unless you're a man of the pantalones or you're a man of the shotgun rain, there ain't much mercy awaiting you. Or if you're a member of the Snipe Gang. If you're a member of the Snipe Gang, there's plenty of mercy to go around all over the freaking place, man. All to your left. If you take a look off to your right, please keep all hands within the vehicle of the attraction of the ride. But if you look off to your left, to your right, to your up, to your down, to your loop-de-loop, -loop, to your twirl, to your upside down, there's mercy all over the goddamn place. If you're a zombie, there ain't mercy anywhere. All right, you could be looking in, in like a 360 degrees, not even. Look around a whole 720 degrees. You know what you're going to find? Nada. Because uh, these zombies, they want my brain. And my brain is off limits. Why? I, I don't know. I like my brain. 
I, I, I don't know. Brains are pretty likable. They're pretty cool dudes. They help me think. They help me think of these words. They help me click that upload button so you guys can get these videos. All in all, I'd, I'd call brains a win-win. It's pretty hard to go wrong with them unless, uh... I don't know. There's probably some way to go wrong with a brain, like a concussion. Dude, concussions are the worst. I remember when I had one. Ah, I think it was like my senior. Was it my senior year? Yeah, senior year at high school when I was playing in a basketball league. No, it was junior year. End of, I think it was end of junior year, but I was playing in like a basketball league. And uh, it was like outside of school. It wasn't like a school basketball or anything. But uh, outside of school, I was playing in a basketball league. And I remember I went up to block someone and... Uh, I, I just toppled over them, man. I think I was like an entire foot taller than them. So they're kind of like a stool. And I was this like lumbering giant. And when I jumped up, toppled over them, head first into the floor. And that's freaking go. And I got a finger. That's not how the story goes. But I did get a finger, which is the most important thing out of this, if you ask me. And we'll go ahead and see what else the rest of these loot crates have in store for us. And we'll probably end up doing other jazz no no worries i'll come back for this i know our inventory is very full but there's an entire 40 minute timer on this kind of void and we still have energy to spare so i will come back to get this no need to worry this stuff is not going to be going to waste but back to that basketball story yeah i toppled over him head first into the ground i like i pretty much did a 180 i went from feet below my head to head below my feet and slammed it in the ground had a concussion, paramedics showed up, they're like, oh my god, the head is bleeding, and I'm like, do, do you guys, don't, don't, do you guys need to get rid of my hair? I, I didn't want them to get rid of my hair, you know, I'm like, and they're like, no, son, we just need to staple your head. So yeah, I got, I think, like, seven staples in my head, dude. Heads were not meant to be stapled, you know what's meant to be stapled? Packets of paper on homework that you don't want to do, not your freaking head. Ugh. I remember when I had to go to the doctor to get those things removed, that was like, oh, just the, ah! I still have the scar on my head from that too. Like my hair never grew back normally. So they lied to me. They did mess up my hair. <laughs> it's all good though. They they saved my brain. So I appreciate that. But yeah, man, that was uh, uh just thinking back to that. Like having those things pulled out. Uh, I don't know. Just stuff with the head like freaks me out. Is, is that just me? Uh, I don't know. I just don't even want to think about it. What I want to think about is all this wonderful loot. All of these wonderful bottles of water. All of this vitamin P is spreading into the back of the truck what's up baby thank you truck for the goods that you have provided me in exchange i will provide you with the vitamins that you need to thrive and the bot <coughs> water that i need to not die but so uh, with that said and with that done that's gonna start bringing an end to this episode of last day honor survival a, a sincerest of apologies it was a little bit on the shorter side but no worries guys and gals we'll be back tomorrow and we also might be streaming on dlive.tv slash star snipe tomorrow as well so keep your eyes and ears peeled over there link at the top or near the top of the description and pin comment head over there create that follow button not create that follow button hit that follow button and uh, if you guys have the ios or android app installed both of which are free you guys get notifications when we are live and the live streams have been a ton of fun we checked out that brand new free battle royale game today i think we might return to that but we also have some last day on earth to do tons of fun to be had streams have been a ton of fun and obviously continue recording the videos for y'all have continued to be quite a little bit of fun as well but uh, like I said, that's going to start bringing an end to this episode of Last Day on Survival. Can't wait to hear what y'all got to say about this development with the Chinese New Year and that apparently it might not be coming. There might not be an event. It might just be the celebratory items coming in and not going to lie, pretty dope chopper skin that hopefully they make available in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Because if you can only get this by purchasing it, eh, it's kind of meh. Like it is a chopper skin, so it only looks pretty. You know, it's not like a gun that you can only get by purchasing, right? But still, it's kind of like, eh, hopefully they make some way to get it in game. At least I think that that'd be cool. Or like maybe on the Chinese New Year Day. Is there like one day, like one very special day with Chinese New Year? They should make that day have like a free crate or something with a chance at getting it. I don't know. They should do something to help us get that in game. But, uh without like dropping any dollar dues. But let me know what y'all think about that news and what you guys think still about this chopper stuff over here with the Chinese New Year. But that's gonna start wrapping up for me for now. Best of luck to you guys and gals in that $25 iTunes slash Play Store gift card giveaway. Best of luck building up your chop. Again, the chopper gas tank and joining the chopper squadron. Best of luck breeding your pup. Again, the true friend perk leveling up your own perks and skills. Not to mention finding the very best blueprints and building up the very best attachments for the very best weapons that you got. Best of luck building up 
up your base, go out on the dopest of raids like that one we had today, defeating all the bosses that the game has to throw at you, getting past the multiplayer wall, and most important of all, having yourselves an absolutely fan fantastic time all throughout. But that's going to do it for me. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Hope this was an awesome one. And I'll talk to you next one. See ya.